Hey friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to tell you all about this story about a village where there was this one donkey which was always hard working, always hard working. Every time the donkey's owner never used to give it a break. One day when the owner was not feeling well, the donkey was happy. He thought, "Ah, oh, at least today I'll get a break." But the owner didn't give him a break. He sent the donkey to his friend and he asked the friend to take care of the donkey and never let the donkey take rest. He said, keep giving my donkey work. Never let him do, never let him to be, take rest. And then the friend said, okay, sure. And that day also he didn't get rest. Like this, he was walking, 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 and he's fed up one day. He's like, oh my God, I can't take it anymore. I'm leaving this place. We really should leave this place. So he was planning for many, many, many days. And one day, finally, he said, no, that's it. I'm going to leave. But for leaving this village and going into the city, he has to cross this thick forest. But he was like, it's fine, I will manage and I'll cross the thick forest and go. That will be way better than me suffering here. So the donkey left. After seven whole days of struggle, he reached the city. He was very happy and excited. And he took his phone, took a selfie and he was like, hey, I'm in the city now. So no worries for me. And... Everybody from the village, every animal saw and dogs saw. Dogs were like, oh, even I'm hardworking, even I'll go like the donkey to the uh, city and enjoy. So again, dogs went for seven days and again, they took a selfie. They were like, hey, I am in the city now. And after the dog posted, now the sheep saw. The sheep was like, even we'll go. And the sheep also left. And the sheep was like, hey, I'm in the city now. And like this, it keep, kept on going and most of the animals left. So when animals left, what will these animals be doing? I mean, the homo sapiens, the humans. They also were like, okay, I think this is the path. Because as many people, as many animals kept on walking, the grass had become flat and had created a path a route so they're like okay this is the route to go for the city even we'll go and the humans also started to travel every day travel once to go and come it takes seven days to go seven days to come and then the king of the the government of the village uh, sent um, um they they sent people they sent uh, engineers to construct a proper road for the villagers to travel from the city back to the village back to the city and then they 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 asked which road are you using they constructed one of their own and they asked which road were you using earlier and they said it's this road it takes seven days to go and go they were like what why are you guys so dumb what the road which we used won't even take an hour to go to the city but yours you took seven days who found this route and the villagers told the whole story it first started with the donkey then the dog then the sheep then all the animals then us they were like that so what can we understand from the story what i understand is that we have we don't have to always take the road which was taken by everybody. Try taking the road not taken. It's a poem by Robert Frost and it's awesome. In that poem he says that he took the road which nobody had travelled and that's the reason for his success. So we should always be unique in our own ways and not follow donkeys because, you know, they always do trash things. So comment down below if you learned any other value from this lesson. If you like the story, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. 
and bye see you guys in the next video